Okay, so uh, for today's uh, task, I have taken a data set that is a review data set, a movie review data set. Okay, and it is available on uh, GitHub. Okay, on this link. So I will just pick this from this link and I will use it. Or you can simply you know, download it. I am just pasting this uh, to the chat box. Let me check whether my recording is on or not. Uh, recording is in process. Uh, all right. So, okay, I posted the link here. You can uh, use that. All right. All right. <clears throat> so, what I will do, I will fetch this data from this uh you know github website uh, github just a minute okay so before we do we we will import sorry vendors as pd data equal to pd dot read underscore csv you give the url here okay and uh, with this uh, headers are there already so the header equal to none let's make it header equal to non capital n sorry header equal to non and delimiter is here you can see this is a tsv file that means the file is tabs tab separated okay so tab is given by slash t okay so daily Meter equal to <coughs> slash t. Okay. Okay, if I just uh, want to check whether uh, you know, columns are there or not, I think it is not there actually. So I show. Let me check. Data dot columns. Uh, it is not there. Okay, so it is showing the column index. There is two columns. Huh? One column is indexed by zero. Another column indexed by one. So let uh, give name for them. So, data dot columns equal to I provide a list of uh, you know, column name. Say text is uh, first column name and second column name I give level. Okay. Now, if I want to check whether it is working or not, so I have to write uh, sorry data dot head. You know how they work, so I am not uh, telling you that uh, what is this head and all. Yeah, now, yeah, you can see the top five columns. Uh, sorry, top five rows from the data set is showing here. Okay, and column names are already assigned here. Okay, so. We want to say you know, the shape of the data, that means how many rows and columns are there. Uh, you can see 748 rows and two columns. All right, so this is a good shape. So now 
if you just want to see whether uh, this data set is biased or not or balanced or not better i say it is ba balanced or not balanced on the sense so this this uh, you can see this is in this level there is zero and one okay so zero is you can say negative and one is for positive okay so negative review and positive review it can it is like that okay so just uh, if i if we want to see whether it is balanced or not that means in your data set whether the number of negative review and number of positive reviews are almost equal or not or nearly equal or not okay that is important otherwise if it is uh, unbalanced then uh, your model can become biased to a particular approach okay so <clears throat> do it data dot that column name is level right level dot Hello, understood count. Okay. So this helps you to see another thing also. Sorry. Data dot label dot value underscore counts. So it uh, helps you to see basically two things. First thing is we know or we was assuming that there is uh, you know, two kind of levels, zero and ones and they are you know number of uh, positive review and number of negative review it is showing okay so and they are almost equal so you can say it is quite balanced another say, thing we can see here that is whether there is some other value available in the level column in the level column which is an upper from zero or one in that case we have to handle them or we have to remove those rows otherwise you know it will not uh, remain a binary classification it will become a you know multi-class classification okay so okay this is uh, we have done next thing we need to do is uh, we can just uh, remove the punctuations from um, uh, from this uh, text right because we need to do a minimum amount of pre-processing so import regular expression import string now we write a function we already write it so there is nothing to you know explain What is this? Input read CSV. I have written this. Input RE. Text underscore. No. Punct. We are creating a empty string first. Then we will assign the you know punctuation pretext to this variable like this by doing substitution uh, substituting. Okay, so re dot sub concatenate string dot transition plus closing box bracket okay so if there is punctuation we was we are going to replace it by empty string and we're passing text. Okay. Then 
we will return the cleaned text oh, sorry we have taken what text with no punk so that will uh, return okay now data text underscore clean or just creating another column in the data know, data frame clean equal to data in this uh, this text column we need to pass apply lambda x column remove bunk this function will pass this x okay so run this okay so let's see what uh, change have been uh, have happened to this after doing so how we can do we can simply say data dot head okay so you can see here it is uh, showing you know past five and last five uh, rows from the data site okay and you can see you know text clean on new column is added to this okay. yeah so text uh, this uh, column name this text actually should be here uh, over this column and on this column it should be this uh, text clean okay so they are just uh, you know due to this uh, line due to this line they are just uh, you know uh, move to the right side so don't worry about that okay next what we will do we will do tokenization right so import nltk and we know we need to download uh, the pump for this so it's uh, you know with this itself i'm writing nltk dot download what you need to download is pump u n t u n k t Okay, so it is done. Next, <coughs> we can do for uh, no, we, we can do the tokenization. So from NLTK port word underscore tokenizer. I'm oh, sorry, tokenize. Okay, word underscore. Tokenize. Tokens equal to we're taking tokens a uh, new variable. Okay, so tokens equal to this uh, uh, in the list you write word underscore tokenize word underscore tokenize. We send some sentence to this. Okay, for sentence in data dot the text underscore clean right so we have cleaned this so this column all right so now we can just uh, check uh, what is what effect uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the tokens few tokens we can just check uh, so tokens just uh, for one sentence we are going to display so you can see yeah one of, one of the sentence is uh, tokenized like this so it is taking vertical pace so 
I just try to print so that it will print it horizontally. Sir, what is this sentence? Sen S E N. Sentence is a parameter we are passing to this or to tokenize function. Okay. Do you, un you understood this? Yeah, I understood, but uh, uh, hmm. like how this uh, particular function. How is... we are passing it? We are using where... as the for sent. Okay. Pardon? Okay. Understood, sir. Ah, oh, understood. Okay. Okay. Next thing we will do, we will uh, just uh, go for converting everything to lowercase. So again, this is another old thing we have done previously. So we have tokens, so we will pass, directly we will pass the tokens. Okay, it will return. W dot lower so again you know lower is the function which converts the uh, string to lower for w in tokens okay so this is the function we have already written now okay. call the function lower underscore to tokens equal to Or underscore tokens in what we are passing, you are going to pass tokens. Okay. For token in tokens. Okay. So let's run this. <clears throat> we got error. Let's see. Lower token is not defined. So some spelling mistake we are doing. Yeah, here S is the here S is uh, I have written the S, but uh, here I have not written the S. So remove this S. Okay. List object attribute has no attribute lower. Yeah. So let's see. Return w dot lower w lower for w in tokens. Okay. Tokens, sir. Yes. Not tokens. The for loop. If I write here token, then here also I do make it token. Right. So if I run this, no, no. So. Something is going wrong. Lower token, yes, that uh, there will be multiple tokens at a time we are passing. Okay. Sir, in so bracket, you write down token, it. sir, when you are calling the function. Here we should send token. Token. Okay. Yeah, now it can work. Yeah. <clears throat> so if I check, for at least one row. I'm sorry, take this one. Okay, so you can see everything is uh, in the lower case. Next, we are going for removing the stop words, right? So Again, uh, we know how to do it. We have to download the stop words first. MLCK dot download. What you have to download the stop words. Stop words. Right. MLTK dot down. Stop. Download spelling, sir. W -N -L -O -A -D, yes. 
thank you <coughs> okay so stop words are downloaded so from in l p k dot purpose import stop words right then stops equal to stop words dot words sorry no line stop words dot words in which language english right so english english okay now uh, we have uh, seen what is there inside it and all uh, and stop word previously so i'm not going into all these things so simply i write uh, you know function to remove the stop word okay remove stop words okay what we will pass to this this uh, lower tokens we have created so that tokens finally we will pass to this okay <clears throat> now filtered words equal to uh, empty string we are creating uh, sorry not empty string because we are giving tokens already so list okay now for saint or better you write uh, some other uh, s in lower tokens okay create a temp temporary list temp equal to a empty list then for Token in S. Okay. For token in S, what we will do if token not in stops, right? Add created stops variable here, which uh, have all the uh, no, we have a list of top stop words in English. So if token not in stops, it is not there in this list, then it is a it is not a stop word. So we will append it to this temp. Okay, so we'll do what temp dot append the token. Okay, and after that, uh, before coming out of the outer loop here, I will append that uh, no, temp variable or temp list to this outer list. Okay, dot uh, append temp. Okay, so finally we'll return this filter words. Okay, so we just call this filter words. Sorry, equal to. Are calling this function and we will pass lower tokens okay and yeah just let's run this filter over remote stop word stop is not defined okay i had not run this one Mm. 
still F somewhere remains. Filter words. Spelling, spelling. Yes, it is done. Okay. So you can just uh, check whether everything is happened or not. So you can check the length of lower tokens. So how many rows are there inside it to show? And 748. So we had started with 748 rows. So that is going well, you can say. Now, finally, to the text final column, we will add to the data. Okay. Text underscore say final. Okay. And what we will add here, we will add this filter words there. Okay. So that we will have a track on it uh, in the data frame itself. So it is dot join. So we are uh, adding them as a, you know, a sentence itself. We are not adding them as a token. Okay. So join the same for same in filter words. Right. And if we want to keep the tokens also, then just do the another, add another column to it, uh, tokens equal to the filter word. So understand, in the first one, the, in the filter word, the to tokens are there, which will be just joined together. And as a sentence, it will be added in this column. And the tokens, they will be as it is, as a token, it will be, uh, you know, uh, inserted into the data frame. So if we just uh, see here, sorry, data dot uh, head, you can see in the uh, changes have been done to this. Will you please share this code in chat? Yeah. In chat. So it's been a Actually, uh, there is uh, many codes already written. So it will take lots of time. Okay, so, okay, this, uh, if I just uh, reduce this size, sorry, 100%, then you can see the data frame here. We have five columns, but, uh, uh, Contents are uh, not visible. Contents are not visible. Here. Okay. It is. Yeah. <clears throat> the final text, final te no, tokens. Okay. So it is uh, showing uh, in the buffer book. And uh, if you, you want to make it an interactive table, then you can see by click on, clicking on that button. So you can see the original text, the labels original, then the clean text, the text, and finally what it uh, looks like. Okay. Okay. I had not given space here inside, I think, yeah, here. Okay. That is the reason it is an concatenated all together. So it is text, text final, no, right? So. Yeah, now you can see here the spaces are coming. Okay. The tokens, here you can see the list of tokens. All right. So previously also somewhere that I had written. Okay. So this is uh, how much you have done. Then we'll do some uh, you know, stemming and lamentization. <clears throat> so we are going to use the porter stemmer so from nltk dot stem import 
Porter Stemmer Okay. <coughs> we create a variable say PS in short of uh, Porter Stemmer and where we are just uh, you know you can say it is a object of this Porter uh, Stemmer. PS is object. Okay. Now we are writing a function def stem over. We are going to pass the tokens. Okay. Then root word equal to we make a empty list then for saying in tokens tokens we are again we are going to use a temporary temporary list okay temp equal to this sorry send so out looking okay so temp is a temporary list here then we are going to check you know each sentence in the token or you know we can use here uh, for better variable name say t okay now say for t in just a minute for t in center Okay, just a minute, just a minute. Uh, both the places I'm writing T, right? So here I write SCN. Okay, now we will do this for T in SCN. Okay, <coughs> go ahead. If word. Don't need to do this. You can simply do the root equal to ps dot stem, right? Stem. What is there? T. So it will find the root of uh, T. Okay. Then what we'll do, we'll append this T to this temp list. Okay, so temp dot append T. Okay, sorry, not T, root. Okay, so we'll get a list of uh, root words which I need to append to the root words. Okay root words dot append temp all right the panel you will return what will return the root words okay so if I just uh, call this, I'm uh, sorry, first uh, run this one once. Yeah. So root words equal to stem word. I'm going to call. Okay. What we will pass to this data from the data frame, right? Tokens. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> okay, so this is what we are going to pass, and we can 
Okay, first you run this. List of the app and app and Okay, so <clears throat> this is done. Now we can add this to another column to the data frame. So data frame creating a column called system equal to its root words. Okay, and uh, again you can just uh, see the change in data frame data dot add. it is going wrong right so that means our our function need to be check first for loop we are doing sentence and tokens so sentence is going to be uh, this then is going to be a list of tokens, no issue. Then T is one of the tokens from the same, no issue. Then we are calculating PS stem of T. Right, PS stem of T. After this also, no issue, there should not be an issue. Then the append team dot append root. Right. Okay, I think uh, in created these added these tokens here something uh, data frame in the data frame where I have I had added this token column I need to check there uh, yeah right this. so. Slow moving. Okay. So, Okay, let me just uh, copy this function from my original one. One to lower case is done. This is what we are doing stemming. Same problem it is coming because uh, problem is coming due to this uh, token column basically tokens column right so where I have generated these tokens and added that I have to check past tokens equal to where sorry sorry final text right. So I have added, uh, it should be lower token should be added. Final text is, yeah, 
final text is already after joining this it is giving final text right so okay so it should be filter words yeah Yeah, now you can see in the tokens the commas are coming. So they, this was not coming. That was the reason it was taking all the tokens as a single uh, <coughs> as a single uh, string. So it was uh, giving the problem. Sorry. Okay, now you can see the stems are here, All right? So, okay, so I'm not uh, going to explain again these uh, stemming things because uh, in the previous uh, discussion also we had uh, discussed about the stemming. Now, <coughs> do lamentization also so that you can uh, see which one to use. Okay, so for doing this lamentization, we have to download WordNet first. As I had told you that lamentization uses some dictionary based on that is uh, that it finds for the uh, <coughs> it, okay somebody said that share notebook oh, let me see if I if I can share this it's uh, You try this uh, link. Uh, I think this notebook will be visible to you. Okay. So, okay. So after this uh, is done, then go for lamentization. Panel tk dot download wordnet. Done. Then from NLTK dot stem <coughs> import word net lamentizer. Okay. Then Or net or say simply lamentizer equal to I'm doing or net lamentizer. Okay. Then write a function def lame underscore words. We will pass the tokens. lemma underscore word we call the empty list then uh, so this uh, same thing will be a uh, same code will be used there okay or uh, sign equal to Tokens, I have a have a temp list. Right. Temp for t in send if or not in stop. Okay, again it is checking. Okay, then uh, root over equal to ps uh, not ps. Here we have lamentizer. Okay, lamentizer 
dot uh, lamitize okay the function name will be l e n m a t i will be lamitize okay it is t it is t okay ten dot append root word no problem then root word is equal to append ten okay return the root words so function is ready lemma equal to our word sorry we get lemma words lemma words okay and in the Okay, okay, indentation problem. Okay, we've done. Okay, so here uh, at this point, you can do multi level of lamitization. I kept uh, no, one level of lamitization, and uh, here I have given what uh, only T, but uh, you can okay, so there is different kind of uh, uh, thing you can do here, but uh, okay, without doing them, uh, just uh, run this and <coughs> see uh, what kind of result we are getting. So Lemma words equal to equal this right. What we will send here data tokens. Okay, so it is done. Then we can just add this to the data frame here itself. Okay, so data new column we define say lemma. Okay, equal to lemma words, and we want to check the data frame head. Now you can see here uh, the stem words and the lemma words you know, side by side. Okay. Then the preprocessing part is done. Okay. So we will move for uh, you know, our work. So first of the things we want to see what are the columns are there right now in the data frame. Okay, so you can see these are the different columns are being uh, right now in our data frame, right? So first thing what we will do, positive and negative, we will uh, create uh, basically two empty list, say positive equal to empty list and say 
negative equal to another empty list okay now we will go through the levels and you know we will uh, keep all the positives with positive and all the negative with uh, negative okay so if i write the code you will understand okay for l in data dot level if l equal sorry equals equals zero huh. so what we are going to do basically it, uh, finally we'll add you know two column to the database uh, data frame one column will be named as positive another column will be named as negative okay in case of positive columns uh, all the if the review is positive in that column it will be you know it will be one and negative is will be zero and in the negative column negatives will be one and others will be zero okay so that will do first dot append zero and make dot append one okay else or maybe l if l equal equals one then sorry the reverse thing will happen definitely here it is one here it is g okay and finally after doing this we are adding this to the data <coughs> frame so pass equal to pass equal to negative okay so and we will okay first uh, let's finish this okay you will while scanning while scanning string literal data dot yes oh oh oh, oh. here <coughs> it should be dot right and should be data dot level <clears throat> yeah so it is done so the just uh, we'll reshape our uh, uh, data frame data equal to data only a few columns we will keep all the columns uh, columns we don't need anymore so what we are going to keep here text underscore final <clears throat> then lemma we are going to use then label then sorry was <coughs> then made one minute okay so after that we can just uh, check uh, what uh, change have been made okay so you can see the final text is there we are not going to use uh, that uh, stem stem words we are using lemma here and levels we have taken and you know 
positive and negative these two attributes we have added so we have kept them here okay now we have to split our data set into you know training and test sets right so for that we have to install sql learn fast Okay, and then from learn dot model selection model selection we import trend test split. Okay, and this. Some model selection, model underscore selection, underscore selection. Okay, then we will create here data underscore train, comma data underscore test equal to i can just uh, use this trend test uh, split first you need to pass the whole data set to this then the test size test size now here you know uh, it depends on you that uh, what percent of uh, you know uh, data you want to keep as your test data set so as we have very small data set so i am taking only 10 percent of my data as a text okay then uh, random state random state equal to Mm, any number you can give here, I can give here 40. Okay, so understand. So, this 40 will you know fix the random state. So, every time you will run this code, it will produce the same random number sequence. If you don't give the state, sir, today Java is good, will... huh? yeah. data analytics service, sir. Why you are going, man? Not good, ah. Huh? It's okay. Okay, okay. Hi, good. Good evening. Thank you. Bye. Wish you all the best. Sir, what is the role of this okay. random state here? Yes. What is the role of this random state here? Okay, okay. We are we are randomly choosing ten percent of the rules out of our data frame. Understand? Random state this forty. Huh? Random state this forty. I am talking about. Okay, okay, okay. This makes this random state fix. If you don't give this, every time you will run this code, it will generate a different random sequence. Understand? And if you give this 40, every time it will take this 40 as an initial value or initial seed, and every time it will generate same random sequence. Clear? So I can give here any random state number? Yes, you can give any almost. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So if you see here the detail, you can see regarding random state, anything is written. It should be written in this document. You can go there and you can check it out. Okay. So I think uh, I made the doubt clear here. Okay. <clears throat> so this is done. Next, we have to do 
that deep learning. Okay, so you know Keras is the deep learning library, which is available here on Google Colab. So we are going to use this. Okay, so in Keras there is a tokenizer class again. Okay, so which have uh, these functions, feed on text, text to sequence, and uh, text to matrix and sequence to matrix. So few of them we will use, and uh, one by one we'll go through them. Okay, so. Anyway. First thing is uh, we have to collect all turning words. That that means uh, all the lemmas or unique lemmas you can say we are going to collect in a particular list. Okay, so all turning words equal to Word of tokens in data underscore train lemma. Okay, so all the lemma I have told you, you are going to collect for word in tokens. Okay, so run this. Right. Then what we'll do? Uh, training sentence length. So all the you know, different uh, different uh, uh, sentences are having different length. So we are collecting all the sentence lengths in a list, which will be named as uh, training sentence length. Okay. Training sentence length equal to again uh, we need a we need to generate a list so length of every tokens right and that means number of tokens are there in each of the review okay for Tokens in data train lemma. Understood? Next thing we will need is the training hookup. See here in the first one, we have collected all the words. Now from there, we, we have to create the training hookup. Okay. Training vocab equal to we are just uh, shorted this, I uh, know, list in uh, getting the set operation over all training words. Okay. So, you understand what is going to happen? The set operation will return you the unique words out of all the training words. Then uh, this set will be converted to a list. And finally, that list will be shorted in ascending order. Okay. By this shorted function. Okay. So we have uh, generated the vocabulary. Right. So next thing, what we can do is. Uh, the total number of, uh, you know, total number of uh, words in our vocabulary, we can just uh, check out. Uh, okay. Print length of this. Right? 2694. And if you see how many we had in the 
how many words or tokens we had in the original uh, book, uh, you know, tokens, it was uh, more than you know, 7,175. So it is reduced to this number in the, uh, and these are the unique uh, words we have in our vocabulary, okay? And uh, another thing we can uh, check that is the maximum <laughs> length of sentence, okay? So max sequence length equal to max of this length. Okay, better I put it uh, there. Okay. If I get this and if I print it here, yeah. so maximum sequence length you can see there is seven eighty nine. Why I'm doing it? It we we will uh, need all this information later. Okay. <clears throat> Next is. Fit on text uh, function, I had already told you that is available in, you know, Keras uh, tokenizer class, which is used to update the internal vocabulary of the text list, okay? We need to call this before using uh, other functions like, you know, text to sequence or text to matrix, all these things, okay? So first thing, what we will do here, uh, we will import the Keras tokenizer, okay? Or from, just a minute. Yeah, or from Keras dot, Pre pro sing dot text import tokenizer. Okay. And another thing we have to you know, import from the this same place, the from the same place that is uh Keras uh, Keras uh, pre processing. Uh, dot sequence. Okay, there is another package sequence. We import pad sequence. Pad underscore sequence. So why we will need this? Because you know we will find that all the sequence are not going to be in and uh, of same length because you know all sentences are not of same length so we have to pad them okay otherwise the when you will in, input them to the neural network uh, the neural network is having a you know, fixed input uh, size of the input layer okay so there it will be a problem so we need to pad uh, you know, and make all the sequence length equal okay so what mistake i have done Add uh, sequences S. Yeah. <coughs> so here, uh, some of the thing we can uh, do, like uh, you know, how many uh, document count we can see, and you know, all these uh, all these uh, uh, attributes are available with fit on text. Okay. So. Let's uh, first use uh, this fit on text thing. Okay, tokenizer. Tokenizer equal to take this tokenizer basically. Okay. Number of words is one of the attribute. Okay. Number of words equal to what? Length of 
training vocabulary so this is the number of words we are sending <coughs> to the tokenizer 10 lower equal to true okay if if some word is not in our case it will convert it to lower okay then care level equal to false okay run this next is uh, okay so our tokenizer is ready so so why you have to use care level here care level equal to false okay sir what is the role of care level equal to false i am showing you i am showing you. everything is not uh, possible uh, care level is true every character will be uh, treated as a token Every character will be treated as a token if you make it true. Understand? And if you make it false, then uh, your uh, okay. every word will be treated as uh, this. Okay. Click on text. Oh, sorry. What we will send here? Data. lemma right and dot to list okay all right so next thing we have the tokenizer ready so we can uh, view or uh, we can display some you uh, know the, all these uh, things from the tokenizer once it is you know once we have fitted it or fit on text we have done okay so let's see mm -hmm. sorry print take the tokenizer dot document underscore count so it will give us number of documents we are considering okay so seven for eight. So each of the review is a document. All right. So we had seven for eight. Then what other are there? Let me check. Automatically it is not cut. Yeah. Say we are choosing word count. Okay. So here you can see the for every word, you know how many times it is appeared in the uh, on our all the documents it is uh, just given okay so all that uh, stats uh, you can see well, then word index you can see that means uh, which word is at what index that it will show okay You can see movie at the one position and the of the list, film at the second position of the list, and so on. Zero, one, we have not removed the uh, numerics, so they have also came here. Okay, zero is on third position, one is on the fourth position. Okay. And uh, <coughs> so all these things you can uh, see. Okay. Then the you know, given a corpus of document we have, right? So text to sequence uh, and assign integer to the words. Okay, so we can uh, use uh, the text to sequence from the keras. Okay, so for this, uh, the maximum sequence length we can define. Like you know, in uh, um, what do back we have done? You know, maximum sequence length we had uh, given something like hundred, right? So here also we can uh, do that. Okay, so. Maximum sequence length, we already have something here. You can see here, uh, this is use. So we don't want to want to use that, okay. 
So maximum sequence length equal to say assign 50 and embedding dimension okay. embedding dimension say we are giving it 300 okay so <clears throat> so these things basically uh, parameters for a neural network here okay so um, Based on your data set, you can you know, change them and you can see how result is affecting okay, with uh, increasing and decreasing the dimensions. Okay, so, so now, but for now, how you are setting these two parameters for the given data set? Randomly, uh, uh, randomly. Yeah, okay, any value we can give? Yeah, I've given any value. Okay. These things are very hard to you know, optimize. You, right? You can't say that uh, this is my optim, optimum value of dimension, you know, this uh, embedding dimension. Okay. Maximum, sorry, training sequence equal to, we have to take token. Um, so, so we have, uh, I think, uh, missed something in the preprocessing, maybe or uh, maybe something happened somewhere. So it is, uh, it was giving error. So right now we can uh, see that uh, training sequence equal to tokenizer dot uh, know, text to sequences, and uh, this function we need to pass the uh, you know uh, attribute or uh, this lemma basically as a list. Okay, then. You can see you are printing the sequence generated from the text or training sequences. Okay, so it is going to print this this uh, this sequence is generated. Okay, from the training sequences, and then train one word index equal to tokenizer over underscore index. Okay, so this gives you the train word index as well so that uh, i had uh, shown in the previous case also here so index of the uh, with different words okay so and uh, total unique uh, how many words are there we have already seen okay next is the sequence pad right so i had told you that uh, we will have to pad the sequence and for that thing we need we have a pad sequence function okay so if you see here, we're not using them. Okay, so before we go for you know, padding the sequence, what we are doing here, we are just uh, initializing a matrix of a dimension we have, uh, we are considering that is, you can see here, train word index uh, length. So this length plus one and the embedding dimension, what you have given, that is, Embedding dimension we have given is uh, 300. It's, sorry, no, if you see here, it, we have uh, given is, yeah, 300. Okay, so this, okay, then let's uh, like deal with this. Okay, so with this dimension, with this dimension, we are creating a, you know, empty matrix, you know, np dot zero. So, sorry, a matrix of uh, this dimension you can see here with all initialized to zero, all elements are zero. And uh, why we are doing this? You know, after that, we will initialize the embedding weight at the, at the, you know, the time of uh, training. Uh, these weights will be changed or updated. Understand? So, we, we just created this. Okay. So you can see here the total number of uh, words we have in the vocabulary is uh, 2,460 and we have just passed it by plus one. So one row extra we had created. Okay, so that is uh, the requirement of uh, the algorithm uh, function. Okay, so, so now the CNN 
train model. So for this thing, first thing, what do we need? We need the train CNN data, right? So first thing, as I have told you, we have to seek, pad the sequence if they are uneven in length. So we are giving the training sequence here. Okay, you can see the training sequence is visible here. Okay, and maximum sequence length, what we have defined, which is 50. Okay, so max length equal to 50, we are entering. That means, uh, yeah, so max length is 50, and training sequence we are yeah, you know, sending to pad sequence. So, what it is doing, you can see it is padded with zero which sentences that does not have you know uh, this uh, 50 number of words you can say okay and it is creating a matrix like this okay i think it is clear so this is what i'm preparing the data for my cnn model okay then test sequences equal to tokenizer is it in, in the same way you know Trend sequence I have generated. So test, test sequence also we have to generate. So you can see the test uh, sequence, uh, test CNN data is uh, also padded. Okay. <coughs> so that's one. And level names we have, uh, you know, defining here, positive and negative. All right. So why train equal to data train levels name dot values? And write test equal to data test and level names and values. These are very common thing we do almost every classification model, you know, either in NLP or any other domain everywhere, right? So we, this will be needed to evaluate your model later, okay? To compare that, uh, you know, uh, that um, predicted uh, level and what was the original level, okay? So X train equal to uh, this uh, train CNN data, what we have prepared, we have uh, in, put it here and y train equal to y underscore train. The levels are put it here in this. All right. Now we will move to the CNN model. So in CNN model, there are basically four parts we have to write. One is the embedding layer, another is input. It is you know used to initiate the Keras tensor. Another is the convolution class. Here we are going to use one D convolution. Okay, and global max pooling layer. Uh, that is also very as the convol if convolution is one dimension, definitely the max pooling is going to be used in one D only. Okay, so this is the thing. So that uh, thing will look like this. We will have input channel, okay, which uh, input, you know, if you think this is a neural network or CNN network, okay, just a minute, one. okay, then uh, this input is uh, coming from the input layer, it will go to a, a fast convolution layer, okay, and then this will go the, the result of the compilation layer will go for go to the uh, 1d max pooling layer then there can be again then a multiple uh, compilation layer max pooling layer can be there okay and finally we will have some fully connected layer in the fully connected layer we also call it as dense layer what happened all the you know levels uh, you know all the neurons of different levels are totally connected fully connected in these layers okay and finally it gives you the output so this, this is the rough concept of the thing okay now if one by one we'll uh, go okay so first thing is the embedding class embedding class is an built uh, class available we have in uh, crash for cnn okay so in embedding class we will have you know different uh, arguments so what you have to pass like you know input dimension output dimension so if you give the input the input dimension to something, the input layer will be designed, you know, automatically take uh, the inputs in that dimension. If you define some output dimension, the output will be given to you in a particular or that uh, chosen dimension. Okay. 
So this is the thing, then embedding initializer. Okay, so we have already initializer matrix generated and kept uh, ready. Embedding uh, regularizer. So uh, this basically regularize the embedding matrix. Okay. Then embedding uh, constraint, uh, ma mask zero and uh, many other that are there. So I'm not going to re oh, no, go, uh, going to say all these things. Okay, now you can see how it will look like when you will write the code. It will be exactly like this. Embedding layer is the object, embedding is the class. And what we are passing to this, uh, sorry, embedding will be the you know, um, function derived from that class. Okay, embedding. Then uh, number of words we are passing that we have to pass here. Embedding dimension we have to pass, right? Then weight, if we have generated some weight matrix, then we can pass these weights, okay? Then, you know, input length. Input length, you all know, right? What is our uh, input length of our data? And, uh, try enable is false okay so these are the things are there uh, try enable i have forgotten i think uh, i've forgotten what was this is i think uh, uh, for uh, used for uh, you know, multiprocessor thing okay so whatever uh, okay so next uh, what how it will happen this embedding layer will you know uh, Take the input and uh, it will just uh, uh, give you the embedding or embedded sequences. Okay, it will give you the embedded sequences. Uh, now, what we will do with that? Right. So it it will go for the sequence. Will go for the convolution layer. In the convolution layer, you will have some kernels. Okay. Okay, so one D kernel I have not shown here in this I have. Yes, so uh, so this is your kernel, okay, and this is your you know uh, embedding sequence. So this will this kernel will move over this you know like a sliding window, and uh, you know it will uh, generate some value and it will be kept here. So. You can see here, you know, if you have a length, you know, input length of one, two, three, four, five, and your kernel is of size two, your output is is going to be a four length. Okay, so you can understand that a convolution layer will do two things. One is multiplication of your, uh, you know, input with the kernel, and somewhat a little bit it will reduce the a dimension of the input and if you just add some padding layer here you know if you don't want to uh, you know reduce the dimension here itself then you can have a extra you know backend window or you know pad window here a pad cell here input cell here so it will be pipe again okay so this is what uh, it does the convolution right so we will uh, we will see that we will uh, you know define different uh, filter sizes for the you know training of the thing. Then and the convolution layer. And then uh, in the max pooling, what happens? In the max pooling, you know whatever you know uh, you will give whatever dimension you will give. Say here you can see four by four dimension is given. So it will take the four by four area of your you know output of the combination layer uh, thing, what you know, the matrix what you will be output from the combination layer, and that and out of this area it will choose the highest or maximum number uh, okay to represent this area. Okay, so if you see here, this is a you know, max of you know four by four part right is four or four by four part so what is the maximum number here nine so this whole part will be represented by nine so you can see that uh, your from your you know four by four area i mean 16 element is going to be replaced by nine by the maximum layer 
so what happens in the neural network uh, by doing this you know you can see our input layer you are uh, giving you know uh, we are having these many neurons and then the hidden layers you know the number of neurons are you know less so how this can be done okay or better if you say the dimension reduction happens here okay so basically the dimension reduction happens here okay so go ahead yeah so first thing what we have to do we have to write a function called convenient function okay okay so whatever function name you want to give you can give cnn function you can give okay so i have given here convenient the function name is given convenient okay and for doing this we have to call different layer from the keras library you can see from keras dot layers what are the things you are calling dense layer i have shown you in the diagram dense layer is needed at the end this is fully connected layer this is called what dense layer okay this is called dense layer okay so dense layer we are calling from the keras then drop out then reshape That's sometimes you know we may need to reshape our uh, you know data in, inside the neural network itself okay then flatten if you, if we want to flatten our data then uh, concatenate input conv on d that means one d convolution network we are calling and that will be used in convolution convolution layer okay the max pooling layer we are calling then embedding we are calling okay we are you, you can uh, you may remember that we have not uh, done the embedding task using uh, you know oh, what to break here because we are using we are going to use this embedding okay which is which is available here okay then keras uh, dot models we are just uh, importing the model so this is uh, you know, the model import from uh, sklearn library I think you people are quite familiar, right? So we are from uh, Keras. We are important. Now define this. Hmm? Now what are the things we need as input for our combination uh, CNN? Okay, we need the embeddings. We need maximum sequence length. We already available. We have already available it, right? Uh, calculated. Then number of words we are passing we, are, we already know then embedding dimension you already know and levels index you already know uh, we have shown it right previously so all these things we will need in different layer now come you know, layer by layer first is embedding layer okay so there is an embedding clash from where we are getting this embedding layer okay so you can see this embedding we have uh, imported from class dot layer so okay so we are creating object here embedding layer equal to embedding number of what do we need to pass embedding dimension we need to pass initial weights we can pass okay then uh, input length we already know and uh, again this uh, you know uh, uh, train enable so we are making making it making it false so train enable is false okay so we are not enabling to train it okay so this object we created then input function so sequence input equal to input we need the shape what in you know, input shape so maximum sequence length we are giving and data type also you are defining it is in 32 so input function also we have defined okay then embedding sequence okay so you can uh, you should understand that this is what we are writing a function definition okay so embedding sequence is equal to embedding layer what we need to pass to this you know, embedding layer we, we, we pass the sequence input to this okay so that we get the embedding sequences now we, we make an empty list called cons. Okay, we'll need it later for the combination uh, convolution layers. Okay, uh, and filter size is also we are uh, you know, maintaining here, here 
multiple sizes of filter and you know, filter size of two, three, four, five up to six. So one to five filter size you are considering. Now, for filter size, for each of the filter size, we are going to Masi. call the cons one day. Okay. Um, okay, so every time we're uh, going to call this con one d for each of the filter size. I think you understand who have a little bit uh, knowledge of uh, you know this uh, the CNN. So this is what convolution layer. You know from where we're getting we're getting it from Keras library, right? So for each of the you know the filter we're you know uh, using this and filter how many filters 200 filters we are deep fixed it here okay then kernel size equal to filter size right so yeah, you, you should understand one thing this kernels and filter are you know, mostly used and alternatively but there is difference i'm not going into that right now and we are using a activation function called rel so okay then embedded sequence we are going to use with it okay so after we are see one convolution layer is created here okay then we are doing max pooling layer okay so global max pooling 1d we are calling with simply this convolution layer output or passing to this okay and comes append this l underscore pool so so this uh, cons will have basically five models. One model is for uh, um, filter size two, another model is for filter size three and up, up to six. Okay, clear? Now, L underscore Mars, this is the Mars layer, another layer I had uh, told you. One catenate, this cons, cons to access one. Okay, so, Actually, what is going to happen? You understood. Here, we are going to make you know five layers. Uh, okay, uh, can I write it to something? Okay, it is not visible. Uh, it is visible. Okay. Okay, so if I just uh, uh, let me take it. Oh. okay, no problem. Okay, so uh, let me take the pen. So what is happening at uh, this place? At this place, we are doing one convolution layer, then one max pooling layer. Okay, this convolution layer is having or uh, using uh, sequence filter length of two, and max pooling layer is it simply using you can say you know we don't we are not giving any uh, anything we are not passing anything we're just doing max pooling okay then another compilation layer with you know filter size three then again another max pooling layer another compilation layer another max pooling layer so you will give input to this it passes through all this, finally, in the final max pooling layer, whatever it gives, which is have, you know, whatever it gives, that is going to be used for the L Mars thing. Understand? This is the thing. Okay, so this happened. Then we go for dropout layer. Okay, so how much uh, we can just uh, uh, percent we can define how what percent we want to drop out? 
So 0.1 percent is going, and uh, 0.1 uh, we are going to drop out from the Elmers. Then we are going for the dense layer. In the de I was telling you that in the dense layer, every uh, you know neurons are connected with uh, you know, other uh, neurons or the other layer. Okay, and uh, we are also providing here the activation function, which is ReLU function. Okay, and again after that you can see the same X is going to you know keeping updating, right? First it drop out, then it got a dense, then again it is getting a drop out. Okay, and finally, finally, we are going for the prediction layer, okay, which will give you the final prediction, which is again dense. Okay, and it is this X is you know used here with uh, you know dense level index. Level index we had already level index. We previously we had uh, you know defined this uh, level index, uh, okay. And uh, activation is uh, here we are giving sigmoid because uh, we are doing a we are doing a uh, uh, no, uh, 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 binary classification. So sigmoid is uh, you know uh, going to be good with binary classification. So we kept a sigmoid here. Okay, then model equal to you know, finally, this model, this mo uh, you can see this model we are calling here, we are using here the crash model represents the actual neural network. Okay, so model equal to model, sequence input, and this prediction. So this prediction is having the final dense layer. Okay, so we are putting it here. Okay, then model dot compile loss equal to binary, you know, cross entropy, and optimizer is Adam. Okay, the metric is the accuracy metric. Okay, and model dot summary we are going to print, return model. Okay, so this is a you know, this is the function which uh, you know we can say which uh, is going to behave or do the work of CN. Okay, then here see model compilation this, this our function what we have written. Then we are sending what. The training embedding weights we had calculated previously. Maximum length we had initialized. Okay, length of uh, training word index. We have the training word index we had printed previously. And plus one. Okay, then embedding dimension also we had defined. Right. Then length of list of name levels. That means it will give you two. Right. So if we run this. Uh, this is the summary of the model is coming out here. Okay. Okay. In the same sequence, so in, in what sequence we had written our, uh, you know, function. Okay. So, if, uh, okay. We'll go ahead. Uh, now we can just uh, define number of epochs. That means how many iteration you want, and batch size also fourteen. Now we do what? Model dot fit. This is the main thing. You know, fitting the model over your training set. Okay. Still now, it, all these things was just configuration of the CNN. Now we are going for training. So model dot fit we send the x dot x underscore train y underscore train epochs we have initialized this to three okay three you can see here okay validation split uh, you know we are keeping validation also with one percent uh, data from the training set okay shuffle is true that size is equal to that size which is thirty four we have defined okay so train the model see first epoch. Then it will go for the second and third. Then the learning will be completed. So this approach is basically, you know, if you change this, you know, to, uh, you know, five, ten, you will find that uh, your in accuracy is also changing with the number of approaches. Okay, because uh, more it will be changed, uh, and up, definitely up a optimal level, optimum, optimum, optimum time, you will find that uh, it is learning better. Okay, after that, uh, in the, you know. The accuracy will be, you know, remains same. You can see here the first iteration, 
this was the accuracy second iteration this was the accuracy so accuracy is not changing here in this case in our case okay so um, and loss also if you check here initially in the first iteration we had a 6932 okay the loss that loss after the second and third in the second and third amount of loss are also same this accuracy are also same okay and value loss if you see here yeah this is going to increase decrease uh, in every iteration okay so uh, you know you can say that uh, three is good uh, for this case for our, our case okay now prediction so we want to predict using the test cnn data what we had prepared previously so the predictions are stored in the prediction okay level equal to zeros and ones then prediction levels okay now here is the you know, overall accuracy that is you can see data dot test dot level equal to prediction dot uh, prediction was the label but you know length of prediction level okay so how many times these two are same divide by uh, the number of prediction levels okay it is 41 percent accuracy it is given okay so uh, how many you know, in the test uh, in the test uh, result a prediction result you can see that this many 44 you know 44 times it is uh, predicted that the results are negative and uh, 31 times it was uh, predicted as positive okay so then uh, you know you can go for uh, confusion matrix and other thing okay because as you are doing just a minute uh, I think, uh, you you have part uh, you have the unmute uh, permission Now you have it. So, hello, hello, sir. In the previous uh, sale, uh, that filter is shown. Uh, dimension is two. In that sale. Mm, just a minute. Filter uh, of dimension. Is, uh, cell number. Cell number. A uh, previous sale, uh, where that filter is shown. It is shown. Uh, size of filter was okay and in the function in the function you mean here yeah. yes uh above this cell it was shown huh? yes. yes and above this also one that uh, you have shown it is uh, scrolled and that size is um from six that size is uh, to four or to five somewhere previous cell just previous cell in some diagram or previous cell in the code ha huh, in the code before the model is uh, trained, before the model is trained. Model is trained here, model dot fit, here it is training. Before that, initially that we move that kernel, no? And just a minute, uh, before that you said, filter sizes, filter size. Before that, I don't think anywhere we have the uh, uh, here. Before that, this uh, uh, this diagram was there. This uh, one of the layer is there. Uh, before this, there is one layer. It is not. Layer. From uh, five dimension, five size, you are getting four size. So that was with that uh, moving okay, that filter. Okay. Moving that filter. Ha, here, here. So what is my okay. question? That is one, two, three, four, five. These are the hmm. uh, lemma uh, means uh, vector of lemma or what? Means that I did not get. Yeah, yeah. vector of lemma. Vector of lemma. Vector of lemma. lemma. Yes. It should be vector of lemma, and this kernel is same thing like point two one two point two. So what what does it mean? Okay, this filter I am writing here. Uh, if you go to my code here, 
फिल्टर साइजेस सो बेसिकली इफ आई गिव फिल्टर साइज टू इट क्रिएट्स फिल्टर ऑफ टू बाई टू ओके या या इट इज इंटीग्रेटेड that is this value should be applied i mean in some documentation mm. or somewhere that means it, it can be a kind of threshold you can, value you can see the keras i understand you, okay. you can see the keras documentation that are how okay. uh, it decide this uh, you know filter values okay ha uh, means some kind of threshold it, it is actually yeah, definitely mm. okay. so During the learning, is you know it uh, it uh, learns this value. It uh, initially learns this value. But I have to do also change. So I have never uh, never searched for this uh, that uh, how it is deciding this initial values. Uh, no, actually, it is means not that easy that uh, that convolution network and all means very lot lot of vocabulary is there and uh, so many parameters. that i know mm-hmm. somewhere i have used it on images i have used it okay okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. thank you sir uh, i have one query sir in this dense yes. layer in the same cell the uh, uh, this tense uh, function where you are calling dense label index activation equal to sigmoid uh, function you are calling here so sir here you you yes. said that the sigmoid function is good for binary uh, data means since we have binary labels so you are using sigmoid uh, function mm-hmm. so uh, what yes. activation function we can use in case of multi 